Sabal with the throw for Brescia. I think to stay in Serie A. The other scores not really working in their favour. And Sampdoria to come next week, Brescia. Milan's last game is away to Genoa. But one point today will be enough to deny Inter's challenge, whatever the outcome of their match, away to Parma. Inter still a goal down. This is Paganin. Very coolly done. I no wonder the top clubs are looking at him with coveted eyes. Rossi. with Albertini. Nava. This is Donadoni. Up to Hullet. Now to Sotti. Rijkaard. Brescia hoping to keep their concentration at the back as Papan heads on. Not the best of clearances set by Bonametti. This has gone in favour of Brescia. From the shoulders from Reichardt. It's all very friendly now. It's pretty tape stuff, I'm afraid. This does happen in Italy, though. And I think... The amount of, sort of spectators that came along today, the 80,000, I think even all of them would have predicted this, would, this could have happened. They've come along really to celebrate Milan's uh, championship victory, and I, can, I think you can tell they're not too bothered about how the game's going. Rossi. Giovanelli. And he's found Negro. Good control. Haji. Not sure what he was thinking of there. Rossi, who's had oh, rather like Kuzit, so little to do. The Milan goalkeeper. Now they're going to be a second substitution, Milan. Lucky Radio is going to come on. The wave breaks out around the stadium. Now let's not forget the part that Milan played in driving towards the championship earlier in the season when they did play such exhilarating football. And although they have lost their way in recent weeks, well, you can't take, take that away from them. They were absolutely brilliant at times in the uh, opening games. Remember in particular that outstanding display against Lazio when they won by five goals to three, a fabulous match. But this doesn't look the same Milan side now. No, they looked invincible in the first half of the season. Uh, I think there's a lack of confidence about them now. I think that showed up on Wednesday night against Marseille. They ran out of ideas very quickly in the second half. Of course, they had chances to win it in the first half against Marseille. Maybe if one of those had gone in, it could have been a different story. And in fairness, in this game, they've made it well. I don't think a handful of opportunities. And the fans don't seem too bothered. As long as at the end of the day, they have another title to celebrate. This is Donadoni to Nava. But AC. Fifteen minutes to go. Donadoni almost casually uh, losing out there. Sabal. Pagani. This is 
is going to be a long 15 minutes. <laughs> Liam Brady's seen it all before. In fairness, we have seen a lot of entertaining football in Serie A this season, but I think in this game the uh, stakes are too high. Well, that's right. I think you're getting an insight really into the Italian mentality and how much football actually means over there. You know, for Brescia to remain in the in Serie A will be uh, a tremendous achievement. Uh, and of course, as you said just a few minutes ago, uh, it's all about winning the title today for Milan. Over the season, they have beat the best team. This is Lentini now. An incredible run of 58 matches unbeaten. Milan before their colours were lowered by Parma. Now, Milano is on. Alectini has gone off. Mourinho, who's featured quite a lot lately. I think they could take the keepers off as well, don't you? I think they have. Yeah, they're going through the motions now. not a boxing match because the referee might start saying to the teams well let's let's have a bit of fight about it as, as can happen in boxing if the referee is not content that the, the fights are a good enough spectacle he, he tells the boxers but unfortunately that doesn't happen in football ah, Rossi's got something to do well, it's all about winning championships and Milan are going to do that for the 13th time. I don't think there's any doubt about that now with into losing as well. And I can't see where on earth pressure we're going to go from now. Boresi. And it will be actually the first time that Milan have won a title under Berlusconi in the San Siro. Their previous successes under his regime have been away from home. They haven't exactly done it in style. But I see. And if anyone is tuning in for the first time today, this season, let me assure you they're not all like this. This is Baresi. There's more excitement in the pre-match kick around. Sabal. be worth seeing is uh, at the end of the match uh, Peter the, 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 what, what the Milan fans they're, they're bound to have something prepared for the, for the winning of the title and knowing Berlusconi he'll have something up his sleeve as well and it should be a tremendous spectacle be a lot better than the match <laughs> Brunetti up by Parisi now Albertini player who's been so positive and enterprising for Milan this season but even he is not venturing forward too much here's Hullet Albertini Veranio now Papa Ten minutes to go. Milan nil, pressure nil, and it's Donadoni. This will be enough to win the Scudetto for Milan. And it will keep flickering anyway. Pressure's hopes of staying up. 
Costa Curta. You want to have a bet, Peter? I bet we don't see a shot in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> We see one in the first 80. One or two. Hullet. Narva. There's another roar going around the ground. Well, that means uh, Inter have considered another one. I don't know. Albertini. Right card. Now I think they're just celebrating Milan's success. Right card for Hullet. Here's Donadoni. Reichardt. Albertini. That's a good strike. Oh, and a fabulous goal. Right out of the blue. What a shot that by Albertini. Stunned faces among the pressure players. And what? Well, it stunned me and Brady alongside me too. Well, that wasn't in the script for Brasher, was it? I don't think they'll too, they'll be too happy with Albertini because they haven't tried to score this half. Certainly haven't put Milan under any pressure. Um, and as I say, I think without actually coming to an agreement, they, they had settled for a nil-nil, both teams. And this certainly wasn't in the script. What a great goal, though. It's only his second in Serie A this season. And it was an awesome drive beyond the outstretched fingers there of Pussy. Well, there was no challenge at all. And, well, a venomous effort. What a blow for pressure. It clinches the championship for title uh, for Milan, that's for sure. The goal on 81 minutes. But here's another Cho. And a chance. Well, Rossi to the rescue. <laughs> Will it? Donadoni. There's a different atmosphere now. Look at the pressure players pouring forward. Brunetti! And he has scored! Well, that's amazing. 1-1. One, one. I don't think it's amazing at all, Peter. I think Milan actually have let them score there. Uh, Baresi didn't seem too bothered about them coming forward. At least we've got two goals. Well, draw your own conclusions. There certainly didn't seem to be too many uh, firm challenges on Brunetti as he went hairing through. Not exactly renowned for his goal scoring. And, well, Rossi flapped at it. And Russia are back on level terms. They hardly had a shot at goal throughout the game. Then suddenly two goals in the space of a few minutes. And it's all back to square one again. Well, our, our viewers are certainly getting an insight into the Italian way of playing football. Brunetti's first goal of the season. Rijkaard. This is Paganin. And it's back to caution again. Now I think there'll be a stewards inquiry after this match. Rossi. And suddenly all came to life with Albertini's goal. And then Brescia piled everybody forward. Suddenly it's back on level terms again. Negro. Rijkaard. Here's Donadoni. Five minutes to go. I wonder what's in store now. Baresi. It's back to possession football. Burst of activity. Nava. Rijkaard. Oh, 
I think the other teams who are in the relegation zone, such as Genoa, Fiorentina, Udinese, they, were, they, they would have all been expecting a draw here today. They know this can happen. Maybe not in that fashion. Reichardt to Aranjo. Well, that's right, Peter, and especially the Milan having taken the lead. Uh, and then, really, I think, you know, Milan let, let Brescia score, so I think there's going to be an inquiry into this game, especially from the, the likes of Udinese in Genoa. Um, I think they'll, have, they'll, they'll be making a protest. Well, we'll see what uh, the powers that we have to say about it all. Without question, though, surely, is that Milan are now going to retain the Scudetto. Albertini to Reichardt. No real urgency from pressure to get the ball back. They're quite happy. As long as their own goal is not in danger. Quite astonishing how they... Uh, Ushered so many players forward in one mad rush, and it produced a goal. They actually had a chance earlier on than that, didn't they? Right. Rossi, Rossi saved the day. And it's all settled now because Parma have gone two up against Inter. There's surely no way back for them. Duogi with the second goal for Parma to add to the earlier one from Melli. This game surely is going to end in a draw. And as somebody else decides to change the script, Reichardt. Santi. Now Papa, cut out by Sabau. to Negro as we move into the last minute now of this game that's just rather petered out in the second half until that sudden change of pace the wheel of the roulette suddenly swinging first Milan's way and then back to pressure Buster Kurter Reichardt to Hullich and Albertini as Milan and pressure stroll through the closing minutes closing seconds now Narva yeah, too much is going to happen now Liam no uh, the referee doesn't know what to do does he I don't think he's ever refereed a game like this before where there's no tackling and you might as well join in. This is Boresi. There was certainly a look of disbelief on the uh, faces of the pressure players when Milan scored. Four, they all came. And the reward was the equaliser within a couple of minutes. Huge cheer around the San Siro. Maybe that's another goal for Palmer. Certainly into a, a trouble. Reichardt. <laughs> to pull it. I could play in this game. We're now into time added on for stoppages. As Milan head towards the championship. Players just accepting the applause of the fans, and that's it. The final whistle has blown, and Milan have retained the Italian championship. Maybe the circumstances were a little bizarre, certainly as the game wore on.
At least we had a little flurry of activity with the two goals. But now the celebrations can really begin. I don't think anything could console the Milan players, their fans, their president for the disappointment of Wednesday. But this is a pretty big consolation and they will be back in the European Cup again next season. They've had that champagne on ice for some time. That's right, and let's not forget the standard of football they've played throughout the season. They've been absolutely fantastic. Uh, and today, really, shouldn't, shouldn't matter. Uh, the, the football we've seen on uh, Channel 4 and the Italian football has been absolutely brilliant. And, as I say, into the land, look, the park towards the end. Juventus emerging again. I think we're in for a great year again next year. Well, it was that fantastic start to the season by Milan when they simply roared into their stride to pave the way for this title. And although it's gone a bit sour in the last few matches, well, that doesn't matter now because the title is theirs. And scenes of wild excitement in the San Siro. That's De Napoli, the former Napoli player. We didn't really get too much of a show in the side. Just a few games, mainly as a substitute. Papan, who's come in today for Van Basten. It's championship number 13. For the land, they won it back in 88 and again last season. And now they have retained it. Let's see this 1-1 draw today against Brescia. Inter, as far as we know, have gone down by two goals to nil, at least away to Parma. Still awaiting confirmation of that result. And I wonder, well, that's Maldini there being interviewed. By the interviewer who always reminds me of David Jacobs. I'm sure it isn't. Maldini, who didn't feature today because of injury, but my word, he's played a prominent role during the season. If anything, Milan's best player. Capello, the hero again. Fabulous first season with the title one. Hope to add the Europe.